Dr. Lee, what do you make of the police decision not to field test the blood-like substance found on the shower curtain stuffed in the family car? Okay, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, basically, here must be a small amount of blood, miniature amount of blood. Usually, we make a decision. If we do the field test, you're going to exhaust it, use up all the sample. That will prohibit your future to do DNA. More likely to collect a whole item, and the amount of sample must be very small because it took them uh, almost a month to find out that's blood. Now the next thing is this a human blood. If it's a human blood, we have to do some DNA. Is that a, uh, her blood or somebody else? Also, we have to look at the blood. Is this the loaded or original whole blood? It's the loaded means may be washed. And uh, of course, we look at the pattern. Is that a impact spatter pattern or a blood dripping or a transfer pattern? So very important uh, thing they have to do. There, of course, if you find that, uh, even say that's her blood, is this is a casual contact uh, transfer uh, on the surface quite a while ago or very recent. Just like you mentioned the shoe print, that's not really a footprint, that's a shoe print. And shoe print, we have to know that's two-dimensional, three-dimensional. It's an indentation or a flat print. Of course, we can look at the size and uh, look at the width and determine uh, more likely the individual's height and the weight. And of course, trace the brand name of this uh, uh, shoe print and determine what type of boots. Uh, because so many different work groups, now we have a database on all the work groups being printed that's easily can track down. But how are we going to get footprints in this case? This case, we should look at uh, that shoe print near, near the wall, whether or not we can find similar shoe print uh, inside the house or next neighbors or any so-called linkage theory. Mm -hmm. You can link together. Then, of course, the luminal, which you just mentioned, it's on the front seat. We don't know it's in the back or the seat, uh, how big it is. If still have enough DNA, then we should link that. Well, luminal will show a host of substances. It doesn't have to be blood, does it? Definitely, definitely. You're smart. Then, uh, definitely. But however, in the car seat, unless somebody used detergent or peroxidase to clean up the car, and uh, so that's by itself, it's become important. So a lot of physical evidence we have to look at. It. Last time we talked about it, so when you ask the question, I say trace evidence could be the key of this case. Any hairs, any dust particle or pollen particle can give us clue.